no contractions contractions like oh, i'm asking did you get scared why no i was just I was ready to go okay can you find three for me three contractions <coughs> okay it is not a contraction contraction where not is correct why are you <laughs> scratching it out weren't were not mm. one minute something is yeah now it is correct <laughs> very good it's can you tell the full form of it it is very good do you want to find one more hey if that is already marked that i gave you as example you can use that can use that very good now let's go to the next one this is the same formal report okay for this no. anirudh can you please stop drawing drawing i am not drawing it was accident it was an accident okay so read this and tell me what is the difference you find between this and that dublin city is a fascinating city one of its most interesting features is trinity college which queen elizabeth founded in 1592 an ancient manuscript called the book of kells is housed at its library monks created it by manuscript created this manuscript manuscript approximately 1200 years ago at which time there were in, were not no were no, not no printing presses therefore the monks monks handed left lettered the pages for uh, an volume or an animal skin and added colorful elaborate illustration and designs experts call this type of text an il illuminated text manuscript i think illuminated i think, illuminated. I, think I, i already know about this book, the book of kells oh we just saw it in the previous thing now can you tell me words that sound academic in this like academic words no, means no 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 before this class i know but i have oh you have forgotten okay you have to now tell me academic sounding words and also defined terms defined terms in the sense words that are there are some words and they have given a definition of what that word is so find each type one one for each then we are going to read something that will be very similar to what you did the i should tell the difference it is like this is not the same but it's like very very like uh, not very funny not she's not, she's explaining it in a different way like respecting uh, respecting the reader yeah she's respecting the reader okay so can you tell me an academic sounding word from this uh academic sounding word oh. word when I you see it seems okay it looks like too much like a technical word not many people use it something like that 
this is hard. Academic words. I don't know what is academic words. Academic words are words that are formal words. You don't use it in regular usage. But when we are doing formal writings, you use it. What is formal? Oh, I know. This kind when of writing. When... What, Ani? Vilam. Yeah, okay. Vilam is, it also comes under defined term also because you are defining it. One more. Quickly. No, that is a name. <laughs> you did it on purpose, didn't you? Manuscript. Manuscript is an <laughs> academic symbol. Yeah, you I... did it. Good job. Give me a five. Okay. Now we are going to have fun opening this. What are you doing? May I please this know what is, you're doing? This, this is, is a mistake. We didn't really know about dogs a lot. Okay. We, we uh, thankfully, our, uh, my aunt was selling dogs. So we got the last book. Oh, okay. Then you are going to love this. What we are going to read. It is so relatable. Read. Read this. Can this is about a person who is going to ask their parents about a pet. And he is comparing the two animals. Read. After months of begging, pleading and driving your parents crazy, you finally convinced them to let you have a pet. Now you have to decide between a dog or cat. Let's compare with it. These two animals. Let's take a average dog. We'll call him Fibo. It's Saturday Fido. morning. Fibo. Fido. 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 Ah. Yes. It's Saturday morning. He licks your nose. Ow! So how cute. He opens one eye. The sun isn't barely up, but Fido wants to go. Out. In fact, he must go out. He gives a little whine. Then he barks. The barking starts. Oh ho! Better get dressed up. Rest for that early morning stroll. Now consider Fluffy, your average cat. It's Saturday morning. Instead of instanting an a walk, she's curl, curl up peacefully. Curled up. Curled up. Curled up. Peacefully at your feet. She doesn't hardly make no sound. She's a sweet kitty. Or is she? She turns or to scratch, wiggling your no toes a little bit. Oh no. You are woken up at the wild jungle beast. Woken up the woken the wild jungle beast. The fluffy, the toes are tasty and tasty mice that. Uh, she must catch before her breakfast. Sorry, no sleeping late for you. Now, I want you to use, keep this in mind when you answer these questions. Okay? Then, I want you to read this and see where there is, is there a negative, double negative? And if it is there, how can you do to change it? Okay? First okay. is irony. Irony. What does irony means? I don't know. Irony means you say something, but you mean the opposite of what you're saying. That's called irony. Okay. Where it is? The first question. These are Can few. You... Of... Can you see? No. Oh, very restless. Okay. Can you open the document? Uh, yeah, I opened it. Yeah, yeah, the turtle. So these are few straw. of the... Straw only, right? Straw. Yes, straw means going for a lazy morning walk. No, irony. Irony means you are saying something, 
but where it is you are meaning the opposite of it see can you see these yes. questions here down 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 anirudh can you yeah. go down where it is in gold do it on your own how does that sound okay okay i me means it's not i am don't change the spellings a anirudh anirudh can you please focus okay, deleting can you please ah. focus No, I have written it. I am say hot and cold. Not like that. Wait. Irony me. <clears throat> okay, I'll give you a sentence. Okay, one of your friends has done very badly in a test. Your teacher calls your friend and says, "Hey, good job. You have done an excellent job on the test." That is irony. Actually, did he do a good job on the test? No. That is irony, but. what did the teacher say the teacher say hey good job on the test that is irony okay one metaphors are comparisons you compare one thing with the other that is metaphors humorous means funny incidents we already know what is contraction now i am not going to help you now you can write phrases for the test i don't know test. contractions i don't i don't know contraction <laughs> you just mark contractions in the test no baby isn't is not that it's it is ha uh, want me to share screen no it is a different kind of tale it is yeah. all with paw prints kishan kikna was reading refresh reflecting books reshelving books Reshelving books. Reshelving books in the reference section of the library. When she got noticed cat prints on top of the shelf, uh, that's strange. She thought, "How could a cat gotten in here?" In Kurugeter, Kikna, Kishininya, Kish, Kinishinya. Hey, Kish. why are you telling it as Korean name? It's Kenisha. Kenisha. थिंग to this is a she better inform mr of rose the head library and that's all she started hesitantly when i began okay kid the orange tabby cat named julian who lived in the library julian Caught mice and greeted all the visitors. Then one day, Julian just disappeared. We searched high and low, but we never found him. Go, continue reading. Continue. In the next page, that was thirty years ago. But the thing is, sometimes at night, when we are alone, I I could. Swear I see an orange shape dotting between the shelves. I look around, but there's not. But there's not. There's nothing there. Wow, that's creepy," said Kinisha. Suddenly, was a loud thud. Okay, what happens next? Not scary. Next? What happens next? No, I'm not. I want scary. you to tell me what happens next. It's mystery. It's not scary writing. It's mystery writing. You are wondering, right? What happens next? Did the cat come? What was the sound? We saw formal, informal, funny writing. This is another kind of writing voice, which is mystery. Okay, what do you think happens next? Tell me in like four sentences what happens next. The cat suddenly comes after thirty years, Anirudh. What? It says thirty years. After thirty years, the cat comes. 
Yeah. The cat, ghost cat. Oh, ghost cat. Okay. Then what happens? Does Kenisha yeah. and Mr. Rose get scared? Uh, Kenisha just slams the cat. And the cat flies away. And then what about Mr. Rose? Is he scared? Mr. Mr. Rose was angry at Kenisha. For she what? slapped Kenisha. After that, she, she slapped Kenisha. Why? But because all that he... eating is not good. She punched her in the face. When Kenisha punched her in the face. You're, you're talking about boxing match. I thought so when you said this. Muhammad Ali. I thought you were going to talk about boxing. See, now we have brought boxing match into the story. So the they library. bought a, so the cat got a ring to the library and they started fighting. Mike Tyson versus Muhammad Ali. So who won? Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali? What? Who won? Mike Tyson or Muhammad Ali? Muhammad Ali. No, Mike Tyson. So, who was Mike Tyson in the story? Kenisha or Mr. Rose? Mm, Kenisha. Okay. Nice imagination. You are going to use all this imagination to choose a topic in the next and write down using your own style. First is a report about a legendary animal. You can say like Bigfoot. Sarah's legendary. What? Sarvana stores legend. No, not that legend. I clearly said legendary animal. Like Bigfoot, Snowman. People like that. No, I will write about Sarvana stores. You cannot write about <laughs> Sarvana stores. He is not an animal. Otherwise, you can write about one day at your school. Or you can write a story about something funny, exciting. It happens one day at your school. Whichever you want, you can choose. I am going to write about a ghost story, Michael Jackson ghost story. So it is going to happen in your school. Remember that. No. Yeah, in Night Sky Magic, while we stay and see in the telescope at school. Oh, very nice. So your time starts now. Let me. Where see. should I write? Under that. Did you get it?